Hey, it's Scott McCain. You know, I think most businesses do this exactly wrong. It's like in business, if we were making a movie, we would hire the actors and the actresses and we'd rent the camera and lights and sound and we'd assemble the technical professionals and build the sets and get everybody together and then we'd say, okay, okay, so what's this movie going to be about? I mean, that's ridiculous. We'd have the script before anything else was in place. Yet in business, we tend to do it exactly the opposite, right? We hire our people and we have our product and... And we never stop and think about what if everything went exactly right from the customer's point of view. So the one thing I want you to work on is I want you to ask this question. If everything went exactly right in how we talk to and treat and create an experience for our customer, what would that look like? What would it sound like? What would we say? What would it feel like? Make that list of what it would be if everything went exactly right for your customers and then start to make it work out that way. That will solve a lot of your business problems. Hi folks, Larry Wingett here. Listen, I want to talk to you about the one thing you can do right now to make your business better. It's not that tough. All it's going to take is a little effort on your part talking to your customers, something you should be doing on a regular basis anyway. Here's what I think you should do. Ask your customers what they like about doing business with you. That's right. Just ask them. It's really not that hard. See, you just ask that question. Hey, what is it you like about doing business with me? Here is my philosophy of selling and doing business. Find out what customers like and give them more of it. Find out what they don't like and don't give them any more of that. Customers will come back, continue to do business with, it, with you, as long as you keep giving them more of what they like and less of what they don't like. So stop right now and have that question with your customer. Have a good day. Hey, it's Joe Calloway. I want to give you one idea that will make your business better. Here's what it is. You are making things way more complicated than they need to be. I know you are because you do it, I do it, everybody does it. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to come up with the three things that if you get those three things right every day, every single time, you are solid gold. And you might be thinking to yourself, Joe, no way that's going to work. I got a thousand things to do. No, you don't. You don't have more than three. I'll give you an example. A client of mine, a freight uh, company huge logistics operation, a million things to do, but they've narrowed it down to three big ones to get right that everybody has to get right. Number one, pick it up when you said you would. Number two, deliver it when you said you would. Number three, deliver it intact and all there. Now, what's your version of that? What are the three things that you need to get right every day? If you do that, you'll be in good shape. Have a good day. Hey everyone, Randy Pennington here with one idea to make your business more successful. Learn and change faster in every area in pursuit of being the best. Look, everyone is experiencing unprecedented change in their business, in their careers, and in their life. And everywhere you turn, there's an expectation to be faster, better, cheaper, and friendlier. And that means we all must learn and then change faster if we want to stay relevant. So here's how you start. One, ask for and promote good ideas to make things better. I promise you that people where you work have ideas to help your business improve that they've never shared because they don't want to be shot down. So make a conscious effort to grow good ideas rather than killing them. And two, create a bias for action. You know, a good idea that it's implemented is much better than a brilliant idea that stays on the drawing board forever. That's it. Learn and change faster to improve and be the best. I'll see you next time. Hi, this is Mark Sanborn coming to you from my office in Lone Tree, Colorado with one idea that you can do immediately to make your business better. You want everyone on your team to perform at their peak levels of performance, don't you? If they aren't, why aren't they? Here's what I want you to do. Ask each of your direct reports a simple question. What one thing keeps you from performing better? That will start a discussion that will be invaluable. Maybe there's something that seems to be holding an employee back, but really it's a necessary evil, something that needs to be done. And simply by explaining why that is, you'll change their attitude towards it. Perhaps there will be some legitimate barriers identified and you can become a barrier basher and move those impediments that prevent peak performance. 
maybe there's a resource that's needed by someone on your team and if they only had it, it would dramatically improve their ability to produce. But the bottom line is, you'll never know unless you ask. Make it a point to ask each of your direct reports what one thing keeps you from doing better. It'll be a valuable conversation and I guarantee you it'll help improve your business.